Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Silverman. I was 16, and I had just come home from seeing Roxanne. After loving him from Saturday Night Live and Three Amigos and The Lonely Guy and The Man With Two Brains and Jesus, The Jerk, uh, that was it. I was, I was no longer just a fan. My love for Steve Martin hurt. It did. It was just all too much. Uh, this is a picture of my bedroom ceiling written in pencil that night, and it's actually still there today. <laughs> to put it in perspective, I also wrote, Juice Newton is my world up there, but... <laughs> I uh, actually got to meet him and even get to know him a little bit, and I was able to see that he's not just this silly comic genius, but a real person, a real stiff, awkward, aloof person, but also standoffish. It reminds me of that old saying, you should never meet Steve Martin. <laughs> you see, the thing about Steve is he has nothing to prove. He's unafraid of being aggressively silly, but through that silliness transcends a brilliance that leaves all other comics, comics with so much to prove, dumbfounded. Steve Martin has taught us that comedy isn't pretty, it's art. He is an inspiration, he is my inspiration.